What is the difference between a mini tummy tuck and a full tummy tuck? So let's first talk about what's the same, and then we'll talk about what's different, and then we'll talk about how basically we decide whether or not someone needs a mini tummy tuck versus a full tummy tuck. So all, both tummy tucks are the same in that they require an incision along the lower abdomen. And when I plan this incision, I plan it so it falls behind a bikini or underwear or lingerie. Whatever you wanna bring the morning of surgery, we'll plan it so the incision and the subsequent scar can be hidden by a garment of that shape. So they both require a horizontal scar on the lower abdomen. They both allow us to tighten up the loose muscle layer of the abdominal wall so rectus diastasis is repaired and the loose muscle layer is tightened up. The main difference between a full or traditional abdominoplasty and a mini abdominoplasty is whether or not the skin above the belly button is tightened up. So if you don't have any extra loose skin above your belly button, you're probably a good candidate for a mini tummy tuck. If you have loose skin above your belly button, then you probably need a regular traditional tummy tuck. And then the last variable to discuss is what happens to your belly button. What happens to your belly button depends on whether we do an umbilical transposition or an umbilical float. The umbilical transposition is where we leave the belly button attached to the muscle layer. So it's your belly button in the same place. And once we pull the skin down and make it tight, we make a new hole through that skin that we pulled down and sort of deliver your belly button out. So it's still your belly button, it's in the same place, it's attached to the muscle layer in the same place it always was. The difference is the skin that it comes out through and we have to make a new hole because once we pull the abdominal skin tight, the hole where your belly button once was gets pulled way down your abdomen. The other option is if you don't have much loose skin above your belly button, but just a little bit of loose skin, we can do what's called an umbilical float. The umbilical float is where we cut the umbilical stock, so we don't cut around the belly button on the top or on the outside, but really on the inside we release its stock and the belly button will float downward a little bit, a couple centimeters, so it's still your belly button, but it is now moved down your abdominal wall or down your abdomen a short distance to tighten up the skin above it. So this is only a good solution or an option in my opinion if you don't have a ton of loose skin above your belly button. Because if you do, to tighten up that skin, your belly button might end up too low, which will look odd. And in that case, you're better served by an umbilical transposition. So I hope that sheds some light on this between a mini and a full tummy tuck. In summary, the mini tummy tuck does not address the loose skin above the belly button. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.